In the early 1830s, the white actor Thomas Dartmouth Daddy Rice was propelled to stardom for performing minstrel routines as the fictional Jim Crow, a caricature of a clumsy, dim-witted black enslaved man. Rice claimed to have first created the character after witnessing an elderly black man singing a tune called Jump Jim Crow in Louisville, Kentucky. He later appropriated the Jim Crow persona into a minstrel act where he donned blackface and performed jokes and songs in a stereotypical dialect. Rice's minstrel act proved a massive hit among white audiences, and he later took it on tour around the United States and Great Britain. As the show's popularity spread, Jim Crow became a widely used derogatory term for black people. Jim Crow's popularity as a fictional character eventually died out, but in the late 19th century the phrase found new life as a blanket term for a wave of anti-black laws laid down after Reconstruction. Some of the most common laws included restrictions on voting rights. Other laws banned interracial relationships, while clauses allowed businesses to separate their black and white clientele. The 1896 Supreme Court decision, Plessy v. Ferguson, would eventually lead to widespread adoption of segregated restaurants, public bathrooms, water fountains, and other facilities. Separate but equal was eventually overturned in the 1954 Supreme Court case, Brown v. Board of Education, but Jim Crow's legacy continued to endure in some southern states for decades.